Kiara, when you're finished with work today, I'd also like for you to come and clean my room, please. And not just clean it, but make it look brand new, alright? What? Um, why are you asking me to do something like that now? Wait, do I even know you? This is one of the employees for this company, Layla. I'm known as being the famous ace of this company, so you'd better get to know me as well. But I'm sure you already know me, even though you're just the cleaning lady here. I see. I do happen to know who you are, actually. But how come you happen to have my number? I'm a full-time employee here, so I'm able to find out everyone's phone numbers easily. <laughs> and that even includes the cleaning lady's number. And out of all the janitors here, you happen to be the best I know of. That's why I've gotten in touch with you today to let you know that you are now in charge of cleaning my house. Um, why are you expecting me to come all the way to your house to clean it for you? That's because your job is cleaning up the offices there to maintain a fresh look for our company, right? And well, I happen to live in a company housing. In other words, that means where I live in is even considered a part of a company. That's why I'm asking you to please come here and clean my place after you finish work. I have no idea what you're going on about there. From what I'm aware of, company housing is supposed to be maintained by you, the tenant. So please, be responsible for your own room. Excuse me? <laughs> Are you going to turn away the request from a full-time employee? I'm asking you to come clean my place, so you should be well aware that you just need to shut up and come clean for me, you idiot. What? And it's not like I'm just any old employee either, right? I'm the ace of this company that all of the higher-ups rely on. When I'm in a good mood and get a lot of work done, the company turns an even bigger profit. So in order for me to be in a good mood and do lots of work, I need to have myself a very clean and tidy room. So cleaning my place isn't just about me, but about this company as a whole. I'm sorry, but you can't ask me to do something like that. I never thought a day would come where I'd be asked to clean someone's house. I understand that you're an ace for this company, but you cannot use that title as a reason to ask me to do something like that. Gosh dang it, listening to you go on and on like that is really driving me up to the wall. I'm trying to give you something more to do with your sad life. Why won't you just be happy about taking such a wonderful job as cleaning the aces home for me? What? I totally understand that you cleaning the offices all day must mean you barely make enough money to pay the bills each month. So you should be overjoyed to see that I'm willing to give you some overtime to make a little extra cash this month. Now, the number to my place is 608, alright? Make sure you have it cleaned for me after work today. <laughs> I'm sorry, Oscar. I'm having a bit of trouble at work right now, so I'll be a bit late. Can you head into the restaurant before me? Will do. What's this about trouble? You never have any problems at work, right? Today has really been a tough one for me. One of the employees here just asked me out of nowhere to go and clean their house. She actually told me that I need to clean her room when that's not even part of my job. What? There were people like that within the company. I told her no at first, but she just would not listen to a thing I said. She seems to think that she can do anything she wants just because she's an ace within the company. And she's told me that if her place is clean, then she'll be in a better mood to get more work done for the company. Which then would lead to the company turning a larger profit. So I should be happy to go clean her place. If that's what she thinks, then maybe she needs to be told by one of her higher-ups to clean her own dang room. She thinks she can ask someone else to do her cleaning like that especially when it's not even their job, then she must not have grown out of her baby stage yet. Honestly, but the only problem for me is, according to some rumors, that employee is the daughter of one of the company's director. I don't want for any of this to turn into a much larger problem than it already is. So I'm going to clean her room just this one time, in order to get her to shut up and be happy. So it's not just that she's claiming to be this ICE employee that she happens to have family connections like that within the company. Sometimes there are people like that in the working world. 
And because of that, I'm going to have to work late today. Even though I really had important plans to go out to dinner with my son today. I don't mind you being a little late for dinner today, Mom. What are you talking about? It's been such a long time since the last time you and I had dinner together. And you wanted me to come out this time to see you because you are going to be getting married soon and you wanted to talk about it. I just got called for a taxi to come and get me. So I'll be there as quickly as I can for you, alright? And what the hell was all that about, Lila? What the hell did you think you were doing pouring a bucket of water all over me like that? Do you have any idea what you've just done? <laughs> I was just helping you clean up is all. You happen to always be cleaning up things with water yourself. So I thought it would be nice to come clean you up. Don't get too upset with me for that. Especially when on the day of my wedding, someone who has nothing to do with me has shown up here. What did you say? I want to know how you even managed to be able to get into here. Because I don't ever remember inviting such a low-life cleaning lady as you to my special day. Well, now that you are drenched head to toe, I think we both know it's time for you to leave. Please make a U-turn for me and head out of here. <laughs> what is that about me being a low-life cleaning lady? I'm used to you calling me things like that from time to time in the workplace, but I never thought I'd be hearing you call me a low-life at your own wedding really hurts my heart a little. Do you think I care about you being a little bit upset over any of this? It's not my fault you're working a job that is so easy to make fun of every day. What? Those that become janitors never ended up going to school and are most likely mentally disabled in some capacity, right? So how am I not to make fun of your low life? Especially when comparing what you do to the ace company that I am. To me, all you are is a little roach. It would be way too difficult for me to not look down upon you because of that. I understand that the job of being a janitor doesn't really require the greatest education or anything and can be done by pretty much anyone. But the reason that there are janitors in the first place is because their job is a necessity. And I'd like to say that perhaps not everyone is able to do this job that I perform. Especially someone like you who needs to ask me to come clean your own place for you. <laughs> what? <laughs> you have no right talking to me like that. I'm the bride of this wedding and I didn't even invite you to be here today. But because you think you can barge in here like that and start talking to me like I'm the idiot, that must mean you really are the lowest of the low. Excuse me? I would really like to know who let you come in here. I only invited those that are important to me from work. Wait, don't tell me that when you came to my place to clean it for me, you found the invitations and stole one for yourself. I'm sure that's what a crazy nut job like you would do. C crazy nut job? Now that I think about it, I've started to notice that some of my jewelry and other things from my place have disappeared. I had this one spot where I'd always put my favorite earrings, but I'm not able to find them anymore. You stole all those things from my room, right? Why would I ever do something like that? I made sure that any jewelry that was on the floor in your room was placed right back on your jewelry stand for you. And that jewelry stand happens to be on the floor for some reason, where you're always tossing all your things, right? Nope. I know for a fact that you have been the one stealing my jewelry, and there's nobody else to blame for it. That's something that all lowlifes like to do, isn't it? <laughs> what the heck did you just say? If you just shut up and leave this wedding for me right now, I'll play nicely and forget you ever stole anything from me. I'll even forgive you for showing up to my wedding in the first place. So shut up and leave right now. This is supposed to be the wedding for the ace of the company. Me. No lowlife cleaning lady like you should ever be allowed here. Are you sure you really want me to leave? I want you out of my life forever to be honest. If you don't do that for me right now, I'll tell the company everything you've done and have you fired. Oh, is that what you'll do? Well, if that's the case then, I'm gone. Go right ahead and start your wedding without the groom's mother here. What? The groom's mother? Uh-huh. 
What did you just say? Blaming me for all things I've never did, and pouring a bucket of water all over me like that. I cannot stand being at this stupid wedding anymore anyway. I'm going to leave now. W wait a second, please. What? This wedding will start without the groom's mother being here? Huh? Are you actually the mother of the man I'm getting married to? I am. I happen to be Oscar's very important mother. And what does that mean to you? There, there's no way that could be possible. Oscar already told me that his parents are divorced. And he's told me that this whole time, he's been living with only his dad. And he said to me that his mother has never been around with him. I see. Well, the divorce happened back when he was only in first grade. And since then, he has not been able to live with me. So it makes sense that he would be never bring up much about me to you. Uh, also, he told me that you have been sick. His mother has been sick. And that's the reason why his dad divorced you. I just assumed that if it was the reason for the divorce, that his mother would long gone by now. I never expected for her to still be alive and for her to end up being you. I can't believe this. Oscar must have never updated you on anything that's been happening between him and I. Well, perhaps that's just because he's been waiting for the right moment to tell you about me. Uh huh? Just like you'd heard from Oscar, the reason for the divorce is because I was sick at the time. I had always had a really bad immune system, and after giving birth to him, my body only became more vulnerable to things like flu and such. Because of that, I couldn't get all the chores done in the house at all times, and was never able to properly raise Oscar. I just kept leaving more and more in the hands of my husband, and at one point, we decided it would be best to get a divorce. What? We had been both thinking about what was best for Oscar. The only thing he ever grew up seeing of me was my poor body always lying around in bed. And at some point, it started to seem like he wasn't getting the proper time he needed with his mother. So I decided with my husband at the time that it would be better for me to leave them and let Oscar grow up with just his father, who would be able to focus more on him. Are you kidding me? And then, a while after the divorce, my health started to get back to normal for me. But even with my body getting back to normal again, I still had not been working a job for years. So in order to get back out there and start making money, I chose the job that I've been working up until now. I am able to take time off from this job when I need it, and I like to think that my income is pretty good because of it. As a single woman living on her own, I think I'm able to save up quite a bit of money with my income. No way! I've also really enjoyed having a job that's kept me on my feet so much, and it's fun to watch the places I help clean stay clean. As someone who was always too sick to ever do anything for myself, always having to rely on others to do everything for me, it's nice to finally have a job where I give to others. And because of all the hard work I put in now, I'm thanked by everyone all the time instead of feeling as though I'm getting in people's ways. I find myself to have a really important job and will continue to think that no matter how much you try and belittle me for it. But now, I'm having to find out that you're the one marrying my son. I have been trusting that my son would find himself a wonderful woman. But now, I'm in awe. Uh, wait. I may have been the one to birth my own son, but I was never there to care for him when he needed a mother like me. So to this day, I always feel as though I'm not good enough to be called his mom. But even with those feelings, he continues to call me mom and says that I never need to worry about the past. He even went ahead and invited me to his wedding as his mother and told me that if I didn't want to be called today, I could sit with the rest of his guests. But I said to him that I was comfortable being his mom at this wedding, and so that's the reason why I'm here now. However, I'm now being kicked out of his wedding like this by his own bride. I feel so sorry that I won't be able to stick around for his wedding. I really should just give up on trying to be a good mother for him, if I can't be here for his big day. Uh, um... Wait! Uh, um... If you really are his mom, then you can stay. Actually, please don't leave the wedding, okay? You can stay here. What? 
I will help you look for a replacement dress for your now drenched one, all right? So please stay here and wait for me. If if you could really do happen to be Oscar's mother, then you don't have to go home and stay right here with us. I want you to be here as his mother, so don't think that you have to go home, all right? What? Are you sure? I happen to be a lowlife cleaning lady after all. Wait, wait, wait. I'm asking you to please be our guest, so don't say things like that. I will let you stay at the wedding right now, so please forget everything I said about you being a lowlife. What? Ah, and as for you having to clean my house and the way I treat you at work, I don't want you telling Oscar anything about all of those things for me, please. Alright? Don't you dare say anything to him about any of that. This is the day of my very important wedding. If you ruin it all for me, I will not forgive you. It's because of you that this wedding is already over. Do you actually think we can proceed with the wedding when you just drench my mom in cold water like that? What? And what's this about you not wanting her to tell me any of those things? You're too late to be asking her to refrain from any of that. You always made yourself out to be this really kind and polite woman in front of me. But it turns out you have the most rotten soul I've ever seen. I know everything about the real you now, Layla. What? Wait, wait, wait! No, no way this is really you, right? Is this really Oscar? My mom sent me a message out of nowhere telling me she was heading home, so I came to try and stop her. What the hell is going on here, Layla? Why the hell is my mom drenched even though I invited her to this wedding? Are you actually that rotten of a frickin' human or something? You, you have it wrong, Oscar. All of this is a misunderstanding. Uh, tell me how any of this is even close to a misunderstanding. My mom has been talking to me about all this for a while, and it turns out that the problem for my mom has always been you, Layla. What? I don't care that since the divorce I haven't been living with my mom. These past few years, I've always been going other places to eat, and we've been talking for over a decade now. We even talk about the kind of work we're up to, and the drama in our lives. I, I feel like she's not only my mom, but someone that I can call a really close friend of mine. What? You're lying, right? So you know about everything already? I sure do. I know about how you've been forcing my mom to go and clean your house for you. No way. But by this point, all that doesn't really matter to us anymore. Starting today, I want to talk with you about our futures. This wedding is going to be canceled right now. And after today, you and I can meet in person to talk about what's going on with you. What? I want to rethink getting married to you. How could I ever call someone that thinks it's okay to drench their own husband's mother in water like that my wife? All because you think she's a lowlife and doesn't deserve to be here. I can't believe this is actually real right now. Wait, Oscar. You don't really want the two of us to separate already, right? Especially in the middle of our wedding. Also, I happen to be the daughter of the company's director. My family is loaded with money, so are you really going to want to throw myself and all of that money away? Who the hell cares that you're the daughter of the company's director? None of that scares me, because he only has power within that company, right? What? Also, this marriage has never been about being married to the daughter of a director or her family's money. I've never cared about your family's money, actually. God, I'm so, so sorry. I know that I haven't cared at all about your family's money and your position, but you happen to care about it a whole lot, right? I'm sure you could never understand what I really wanted in this marriage to you. Not when all you care about is money and power. Um, uh... Now, I'm gonna get to it and start telling everyone this wedding is over. Why would this be happening to me? You! You have! If you had just gone and told me you were Oscar's mother a lot sooner, then none of this would have to be happening to us. I heard everything from Oscar. When I got back to him to grab my phone, he said the wedding had been cancelled, and the talks about actually marrying you feel through, right? Oscar was really happy that he chose to save legally marrying you until the wedding was over. That's not at all though. Both of my parents are pissed at me right now. They are telling me that I'm the embarrassment of their family now. My dad is even asking me to leave the company now. Is he really? 
but aren't you supposed to be the company's ace employee or something? Apparently, I have been thinking too highly of myself for helping with the company's profits for just a tad bit. And now even my dad is thinking twice about my importance within the company. He's blaming me for thinking I was such a good employee for just doing my job now. Saying the way I talked about myself like that makes the company look bad. I have now lost both my job and my would-be husband due all of that. And since I've been living in the company housing this whole time, I'm going to lose my house. Both my parents are asking me to not go home to them either. So what am I going to do? That's a really tough situation you're in there. Well, hopefully you can figure something out for yourself. What? You hold it right there. Why do you think you can just walk away from all of this? It's your fault that my life is in ruins right now. It is most definitely not my fault for any of that. I'm just a low-life cleaning lady as all. You just happen to ruin your own life. <laughs> Excuse me? It's because you came to that dang wedding that my whole life is in shambles. That means all of this is on you. No, it isn't. All of this just so happens to be what you deserve. And to be honest, had I not shown up to the wedding, you would still be getting fired from your job. The company knows about how you've been forcing me to work later by going back to your house to clean for you. What? HR had asked my why I was still on the clock working when I wasn't even in the office anymore. So I told him what you had me doing, since you happened to be the ace employee. And well, HR didn't seem to be happy with any of your actions. Remember, Layla, no matter how much you do for the company, you still need to follow the rules. What? Wait, you have to be lying. They are actually going to fire me for something like that? I've already been warned a few times not to stay over 40 hours a week, as the company doesn't have the payroll to be paying me over time. But when I told him it was you who was having me to stay late, they took their eyes off me and began looking at you. However, that's not all, Layla. Another thing that's worsened your situation is the fact that you tend to go online a lot with your work life. Talking about how you're such a big shot and that you're able to use one of the company's janitors as your cleaning maid. You really just threw yourself under the bus with all of that and are not going to be able to run away anymore now. What? Also, let's not forget about what else you've been doing online. Is it true that you really have been having other people online who are not even a part of the company go through and do your work for you? For example, you have random people making presentations for your work and you send them information to have made into spreadsheets as well. There happens to be a lot of people out there that'll do work for a small price and you've taken advantage of that, right? Well, I'm sorry, but things like that aren't very good for the company. When that information you send out happens to be for the company's eyes only, it's crazy to think that this whole time, the ace of the company has been asking other unknown people to do their work for them. Oh god, no freaking way. I was trying so hard to keep all of that a secret. Layla, I never, ever stole any of your jewelry from you. But that company USB that I found on the ground of your place, I did happen to take. And the next day, when I got into work, I made sure to hand it over to one of the managers. So I think you being fired was already on the mind of the company, even before yesterday. I understand that you happen to be the daughter of the director of the company, but that does not mean you can start taking sensitive information like that home. There, there's no way. I never expected for anyone to find out about all of this. You've been asking randoms online to take care of all of the work you're supposed to be responsible for. Random people who themselves happen to have decades of office work under their belt. No wonder it looked as though you were doing such impressive work. Now, I'm going to get going. I happen to be just a simple janitor, so all of that high-level company stuff is too complicated for me anyway. Also, please make sure to start cleaning your own home from now again. After that, not only Layla was to be fired for everything she'd be doing while working for the company, but she's also had to pay a major fine for disclosing sensitive information. Of course, her parents never stepped in to help her with paying the company, so she had to find her own way to make sure the company got the money it was asking for. She ended up having to borrow money from the bank, so as of right now, 
She's been having two nights at a place to make anything she can back. As for my son Oscar, he has been very happy to not end up married to a freak like Layla. And he has even been praising me for getting her out of the company as well by telling HR. <laughs> right now, I'm praying every day that my son finds a much better woman to make his wife. And while praying for him, I've been keeping up on my job as a janitor for the company, even drawing in new praise from doing wonders when it comes to cleaning the bathrooms.